Delulu, this is delusional here. Since I'm done now with Panda and Kuma promoting them to Fujin, for the next character that I'll be reaching to Fujin with will be Leroy Smith. Alright, I already have a couple of practice matches that I've done in Quick Match, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm completely ready with Leroy, but at least I got some of the rust off since I haven't been playing yesterday, so today let's see how well I can manage to get through the ranks with him. I just hope that I don't fumble because I've been fumbling a little bit with him since he's a little bit different from other characters since he relies a lot on his parries and well, I wouldn't really say he relies on it but at least I'm trying to see if I can use it more often to see how well I can make it work. First guy. Oh, I see, I already fumbled. Oh, I thought I can step it. I couldn't. I knew he's gonna do that. Go for something easy. There we go. Go for one. Okay, check him in. Check him again. Oh. There we go. Got him. Oh, I thought that combo would work. <laughs> okay. That's minus 14. Side step. Yep. Oh, I'll try to parry. Uh, there we go. Let's try it again. Let's see. Oh, I can't reach that. Got in too quick. Let's see now. I haven't really practiced much with this heat state, so bear with me, guys. Is this minus? No, it's, I don't know. Okay, press mines again. Okay, let's see now what we're gonna be doing next. One decent frame trap that I can use is my down forward three one. Uh, three one. Not that. Into this. actually launch him. Oh, he went for grab. Smart. Nope. He got launched. He whiffed it. Sidestep again. Yep. Nice. Yep. He keeps pressing, keeps pressing buttons on me. See again. He can't help himself. Let's see. <laughs> try to see if I can catch him that time. Oh, try to do this. Full crash down forward four into one. If it counter hits, it leads to a launch. Right, let's see if it gets it. No, he didn't even press buttons. He just wasn't sure. I don't think that's the right, like. Let's do this instead. Yeah, let's do this instead. Okay. Oh, I forget what I needed to do there. That actually breaks? Oh, and I didn't get the combo. Ooh. Uh, I got him with the cane. <laughs> with the pimp cane. So during that match, I have just used a lot of his frame traps. It, I can't really say these are frame traps per se. If we go into practice settings and I switched up to standing block 
and let's say I go for down forward 3 1 I can actually use my back 1 plus 2 to delay it because this string actually has a ender string which is 3 1 into 4 which is a low minus 18 so I can get launched if they block it and then there's down forward 3 1 into 1 plus 2 which is minus 13 on block but the difference between the two moves is that the final hit of 4 is 23 frames on startup. Then there's the 1 plus 2, which is 20 frames on startup. But if I delay it and go into my back 1 plus 2, my back 1 plus 2 is 12 frames on startup. So I can use this as a, another ender, even though it's not a string that goes with the down 4, 3, 1. And if they press buttons, I actually can catch them off guard and launch them. And what's good about this particular move is that it's only minus 10 on block. So they can't launch me, they can't go for their 11 frame or 12 frame punish. But I can at least, you know, I'll still get hit by whatever move if they know that I, they can punish it with a 10 frame. Either way, it's a decent frame trap, even though it's not really a frame trap. The other option that I can also go for if they do try to press buttons is go for down back, 1 plus 2. This has built in parry. So let's say if I were to make Leo use his... No, 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 let's go to offense then go to punish and let's set it up to that they only use a high attack the fastest 10 frame jab and let's say I do this oh oh that ends up hitting them okay wait wait, wait. so let's do see I can do that as a different type of ender instead that can catch them off guard going to my heat engager but like I said I don't know any setups I can go with uh, Leroy when he's in heat the only thing i know is just to do this but it's minus 17 on the last hit so i really don't know what to do after that so we'll have to wait and see wait and see what what, what i can then figure out later on down the line or what i see online oh against a guard of you but this guy has 189k tech and prowess so he knows some things I kind of forgot what to do there. Oh, I try to go for my power crush. I try to grab him this time, but he got me. This is death. Oh, not. I thought for certain that he wasn't going to go for a low, but okay. Go for a jab? Okay, he didn't test. Okay, another power crush. The, yeah, that's the, one of the things I don't like about Shin Shao Yu. That actually tracks me. Oh, he went for a 1 plus 2. Not 1 plus 2, he went for... Oh, right, another low. He's going to abuse his high crush. Nope. Oh, that, I can't do that. Nope. I should have done something else, actually. There we go, one, two, four. It's a natural hit string, so I don't have to like go for anything big. Uh, his snake edge. Go for that. That's a launch, they didn't launch me. Okay, got him there, he's impatient. I don't think I can get this combo. Yeah, I knew it. Damn it, that's when I use my cane. Got him there though. Is this death or no? No, it's not. He got me, I'm dead. But he doesn't know the combo. He went for a low. I didn't even mean to do that on purpose, actually. I just didn't know what to do. 
again the snake edge. I sidestepped, assuming they're gonna go for something else, but he didn't. That's launch. That wasn't the right call. Nice, he got me. We didn't know the combo. Nice. Oh, launch here. I uh, got killed. Nice games. That snake catch is actually re reactable. It's just that since it's a little bit like a little bit framey here, I can't really see the or not react to it as quickly as I wanted to. So I'm getting hit by the snake edge. Ooh, that's a nice trade. Get Oki. Oh, and I fucked up. That's minus. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I thought for certain. Oh. There we go. Okay. Down for 1 4. That's a natural string as well. The only issue that it goes into his parry. He likes to do that. Yep. I was gonna go for back three, but he. That's a plus frame. Yeah, he, he wants to press buttons very, very aggressively. I'm gonna do. Oh no. They just didn't know that string. Goes for power crush, of course. Now, this time I block it. Kind of downloaded him, but not really. Let's see how he changes his playstyle now. Oh, and I'm promoting too. Buns, of course. And the That's actually launchable, but he doesn't know that. I don't know what to do there. I need to figure out what that does. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, I can go for power crashes too, baby. I can go for. Round three. Fight. Yeah, I did it right there, but it, oh, I backstepped. I backstepped there. Okay, power crash. Nope. For Oki. Try to go. Yep. Sidestepped his. What was that? Was that his heat smash that he just used? Something else. So let's review what just happened in the last match. So with Xiao Yu, you saw that she kept on going for power crushes and she attempted to use her snake edge almost every time and I got caught a couple of times in the in the sets. The only reason why I got caught and I'm, I know I'm kind of like redirecting why I'm saying that, that why I got caught, like trying to make an excuse, that for one, the connection wasn't really great, that there was a bit of stuttering here and there. So I can't really tell when the move is coming out as it should. For example, let's say if I were to use Leroy's down back three, his move comes out at 20 frames on startup. But if there's lag as a variable that's added into the you know problem, 
the 20 frame down back three from Leroy can come out as if it's coming out around 18 to 17 frames because of the lag. So with any kind of stutter or any kind of frame delay, it might make the move come out faster than it actually should be coming out. So I couldn't react to the snake edge. So that's one thing. But then I adapt a little bit during the further sets and then I saw that, okay, that she gets on doing it. So, okay, now I know how to properly beat it. Prepare myself to beat it when she does it, but I still got caught here and there when she did use it. Besides that, she kept on going for power crushes, which is, it's one thing to go for it every single time or even every single round start, which was what she did at the beginning. But as soon as I started to sidestep to my right, I ended up beating the power crush. Now, I attempted to do it on the left side, but for some reason she still caught me off guard, so I don't know why that was. Guessing that it's stronger to the, to the left, to my left, so I couldn't really sidestep it to that side. Besides that, she didn't really seem to understand Leroy's uh, matchup. I feel like I won that game mostly because the Xiaoyu didn't know how to properly beat Leroy's uh, set patterns of moves to go with. But as you saw, I tried doing the same setup with the down forward 3-1 into back 1 plus 2. But since she went for the power crush, this setup doesn't really work if they go for that. So the only thing I can really go for is a grab, but which I didn't really see that she did often. As soon as she punished me when I did my down forward 3-1 into my back 1 plus 2, I stopped doing it. Because it wasn't going to work anymore if she's going to be doing power crushes in the middle of a string. So yeah, I think that's basically it. Okay, I guard you, and this guy is 186 Tekken prowess playing Kazuya. Okay. Mishima. I'll nip this evil in the bud. Round one. All right, let's see if this guy knows Leroy. Okay, let's start out with. Okay, one, one, two. That tracks. I went for the mechs up there. He got me there. So his down forward 1-2 tracks to the right. That's lame. Okay, went for hell sweep again. That's a 1 plus 2 break. What? There we go, launch him. But then that didn't... There we go, I'm gonna go for this. That's not... Nope. He didn't punish me. I baited... I baited him to see what he's gonna be doing. Nice. He doesn't know that's a launch. Yeah, everything is. He no. He seems to know some idea. Yeah, yeah. I can't do the string anymore. There we go. A launch with a bombardment of moves. See what I do now. One for that. See now. There we go. Delayed it. Nice down forward two, but he doesn't go for the right string. Yeah, that's not gonna unblock the shit. Nice. Should I go for again? Oh, I'll try to go for the setup, but differently. Oh, smart. Nice, good shit. He got me. Need to go for more lows because he's not blocking lows as much. But he's going for lows though. Nice. 
There we go. I can't go for anything, in there, I guess. Oh! I stepped that correctly. You see how I went for my sidestep left and the demon's pulse still hit me? That's weird. Yeah, he's being very patient. I need to start blocking that. Nice power crush. Please tell me. Yes, got him. There we go. Oh, one plus one. I keep saying one plus two. Yeah, see, it switched up. Nice. I forgot the combo. <laughs> there we go. How? I forgot. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's a launch, but you didn't launch. There we go. Got him. for this all right for that match I did really poorly uh, he kept on going for a lot of good poking strings like one one he goes for also his I think it's down back four I believe it's down back four for Kazuya and he didn't really go for hell sweeps all that often, at least until I managed to block it and punish it. That that's when he actually stopped using it as often. My my biggest issue during that matchup was that I kept on thinking that he was going to switch his playstyle to a more, how should I say, aggressive Kazuya player, but he didn't. He stuck to playing a more defensive style to where he just went for more poking with 1-1s, one uh, going for a down back four to go for lows, occasionally going for the dick jab as well as the down Four, I think he went for it. Yeah, down four. And what else? And Demon's Paul to try to catch me off guard if I were to step him. The thing is, there was a moment in the set where I set, sidestepped to my left, but for some reason, the Demon's Paul came out a little early and I sidestepped to my left, but for some reason, I still got caught. So I don't know why that somehow caught me off guard. I, I know it's like a forward forward motion, so he kind of realigned himself. To attacking me but seeing how he already activated the demon's pole I should have managed to sidestep him anyways but I guess not that move is way too strong either way besides that his poking game was very strong he didn't really seem to go for combos he, I don't think he even landed one particular combo against me but he just won the fight most of mostly just relying on poke game and low amusement if that makes sense but it's also because it's my fault for not properly ducking him because I wasn't really unsure as to how I should properly punish him because even though he can go for 1-1s one his 1-1 one one is quite quick and he can recover recover quickly from using 1-1 one one. so I was thinking that maybe I should just use a dick jab or a down 4 but I was so afraid that he might just low parry me maybe what I should have done instead was duck and go for maybe 1-4 but then since I'm plus 3 here I should be able to frame trap him with my four there or my two or i could have just attempted just to go for my full crash on fort four to one 
to see if I can launch him. The one thing he did not know was to launch me whenever I was negative on block, but I guess that's worked in my favor there, so I could have easily lost a set, both sets to me in reality. But yeah, I think that's it. I just needed to duck more and block the lows, which I didn't do as often. That's it, I guess. Holy shit, 225 second prowess with the Lars. I wonder who was his main. A hit? There we go. I ducked that. Can't believe I ducked it though. Nice orbital. Oh, that's so cool. Nope. Come on. I try to do the same thing. He pressed bonds there. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Punishable. There we go. There we go. I gotta be careful because this guy is, you know, nearly. I think he's like what? Like, uh. Either Kishin or Bushin rank with his main. Let's see how he changes. Ooh. Nice. Should have went for down three. I don't know why I'm going for that. Oh, that's actually punishable, but I didn't do it right. There, launch. Okay, I about to say I thought it was gonna work. Oh, I thought my attack was gonna come up first. Unbelievable how that worked. Nope. Nice delays. He went for a low instead. If he went for a mid kick, he would have caught me. Oh. Nice. Maybe I should have went for back one plus two. No, it doesn't work. Launch to launch. Nice. Ooh. Nice. 
I wasn't sure if I was going to go for a launch or something, but if he did, maybe I could have gone. <gasps> Smart. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nice down forward one. Nice. They're going for highs here, but he's going for lows. He's playing 40 chess with me. Oh, what is that? I didn't even see that. Nice! He got me with a lot of poking game right there. Nice bait. There we go, launch. I uh, wish that worked. I don't know why that keeps whiffing. Oh, that's bad of me. I forget. Oh, please work. No, what the fuck am I doing? There we go. Back step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait for him. Ah, he got me. Smart. Doesn't get out of damage though. Why he does? I don't know what that is. That's so cool though. Ooh. There we go. You win. Okay, that was a little bit of a <laughs> Let me just turn this off first. That was a little intense. I didn't think that he was gonna adapt so quickly during the second set. And then the third set, he adapted even more so. Like I couldn't really figure out his game plan because he started to switch up to a more poking style instead of just going for mix up. But I think what really led me to winning was the fact that I made some proper reads during the fight. Whenever he attempted to go for lows or attempted to go for some, um, some high pokes, I managed to duck them. But even when I ducked them, I still didn't manage to go for a, a proper punish to really do something against the Lars. But I think whenever he attempted to go with other moves, for example, when I was in the corner in the wall, he charged up that one move that he did. I could have stepped him. But because I don't see it as often in the game, I don't step it. And I always get confused. Like, what is that move? What is he going to do? And then he does it, and then I get caught and get blown up.
but I got lucky. I somehow managed to win the fight against him. I messed up the combo at the end where I was at the near the wall. I've cut I could have gone for more damage because I forgot to do this. Down four three one one plus two. But I only did one plus sorry, down four three instead. So I don't know why I did that. I think I just got uh, stressed and forgot to do down forward one into uh, sorry down forward three into one into one plus two instead but i got the win uh it's whatever <laughs> okay so let's see if, if i can get the next game and see if i can get a promotion oh a leroy against a leroy and he's also 190k prowess There we go. We're both just doing a lot of Leroy stuff, so we're not really doing anything crazy. Nice. No. I need to need a stop. That's actually actually minus six, I think. There we go. Nice orbital. He just messed up there. Goals for a low parry. Nice. Four, four, four. Nice low. Damn. Okay. I wonder if I should have just stepped him. <laughs> you win. Round one. Fight. Nice orbital. He messed up. That's plus. Nice. Again, that keeps dropping. Didn't know what to do there. Okay, I got the round advantage now, so he has to get the win. I messed up. That would have been... Lit. Mm. What? Nice, I'm dead here. You got the round back. Wow, that's crazy.
Okay, so it's gonna do that. Yeah, I can do the same thing, dude. Oh, I went for four there. At this point, we're kind of just mashing against each other. Wow. Yeah, I got you, bro. Got the life lead. That's a punish there, but I didn't do it right. There we go. A little bit anti-climatic, but okay, okay, I'll take it. I could have launched him a couple of times. He did it twice to me. Down forward two into one plus two, I think. That is actually launch punishable. So if you block the last hit, you can launch him. I just kept down doing something else. <laughs> All right, so that will be the final game for me. But before we ended, this review will just happen in that game. So for what we saw, the Leroy that I was fighting against didn't really seem to understand the matchup either against his character. And seeing that he was also playing an alt character, since he was around, what, like 180 plus K prowess, I think he was. I need to look back at the recordings. But just quote that, it says either he's around somewhere getting to food, he's already either Fujin or Raijin level. So whatever his main character is, that will be the actual character that he's more comfortable playing with. But besides that, the overall uh, play style that he was playing with was mostly trying to get for counter hits, simply something that I was doing the same thing as well in the fight. Sorry, my English is very chaotic right now. And he wasn't really going for a lot of strings that were natural, like one, two, four. And he wasn't really doing anything else that, that was crazy. He just, as soon as at the end of the set, he kept on going for back threes, since he's actually plus on block on this move. So he kept on going for frame traps while he was in the stands, but this is not really a frame trap. If they block this, they just minus seven, so it's, they lose their turn. But since he also has back four, he can low crush, sorry, uh, high crush moves that may come out, which I should have been using as well, to be honest. I wasn't really using back four. I could have been using that to catch him off guard if they were trying to press buttons against me. If it was, let's say, a high button, that is. I can then high crush it and maybe, maybe even counter hit them for a launch. Then the other thing that I'm noticing a lot with Leroy is that a lot of his combo seems to be very inconsistent. Even when you try to pull them off, because this combo here specifically, let's say I do this. See, that drops. But it's because I'm playing against Xiao Yu, so I, I think that's the reason why. So I might have to adapt and go for something along the lines like this instead. So then I can then get the, the tornado bound. So I need, I need to adjust that. I definitely need to adjust that when I'm fighting players that may seem like they're a little bit further away from me when I'm doing the combo. So I need to immediately adjust to that so that I don't end up getting killed in the process. And then the other thing that I got to say when I was fighting the Leroy is that we, were, we weren't really doing anything shiny, like anything crazy. We were both just spamming against each other to see who can hit who. Because I don't know the matchup all that well. I, I mean, even though I'm playing Libra right now, and I'm trying to figure out his frame traps and figure out what's negative and what's not, seeing it is one thing, and then training is another. You get what I'm saying? It's one thing when you see a move in training mode a dozen times, but once you're in an actual game, you don't know if they're going to be throwing it out or not. So that's why you, it requires dozens upon dozens upon dozens of games to be able to react to a move or manage to properly punish a move when you see it coming or when you do get hit or if you block it so that's the thing so i think both the player and me or i weren't really understanding the matchup all that well against each other and like at the end when he did his down forward two one plus two he, i blocked it twice but i didn't launch punish him because if i block it it's minus 18 so, so since it's minus 18, I can just launch him in return and catch him off guard. But I didn't want to do it for some reason. I don't know why I was so reluctant to not throw out my down forward to one plus two if I blocked the move already. I had enough time to just use it. But it's, it's fine. It's whatever. I still won the match. Again, it felt anticlimactic because I wanted something cool to happen for the end of the video. But it's fine. 
So yo, that's it for today's episode. I'm going to end it there. Uh, if you guys like what you watch, hope what I have been explaining in the intervals of during the match when it was over, that if it was helpful for some guidance. And yeah, uh, like the video, dislike it if you want to dislike it, subscribe and you see more of my shit, and stay tuned.